Hello and welcome back. This is Mr. Allen and today we are doing division with decimal numbers. So today is May the 21st and let us get started. All right, so um, we're doing division with decimal numbers. It says divide, give the exact answer right as a decimal. So we have 207 divided by six. Let's go six, actually one, six, two, zero, seven. All right, so six can go into two. two. This is the house. Six people like to enter. It can only hold two people. So zero. Zero times six is zero. We subtract. Two minus zero is two. And we take down the zero. How many times can six go into 20? Six times one is six. Six times two is 12. Six times three is 18. So six can go into 20 three times before it goes over 20. Three times six is 18. 20 minus 18 is gonna give us two. Then we bring down the seven. Well, six multiplied by, I'm sorry, six can go into 27. How many times? We know six times three is 18. Six times four is 24. So we know we can go four times before we go over. Four times six is 24. When we subtract, we get three. Do we have anything else to take down? No. So our answer is 34 and a remainder of three. And what we do is we put the three over the divisor. So the answer, it's gonna be 34 and three over six. But three over six is a fraction and it says written as a decimal. So how would we actually change that to a decimal? So what we'll do is if we have $207, is that the same as $207 and zero cents? If I were to put a zero cents here, would that be the exact same amount? Yes, it would. So what we do is if we want to find out what three over six is in a fraction form, I'm sorry, in decimal form, we'd put the point zero and we'd actually take this zero down and we would keep going. We would add that point zero because we know 207 is the same as 207.0. And how many times can six go into 30? We know that would be five. So we have the decimal point here. We put it back right here. We put a nice five here. Five times six is 30. 30 minus 30 is zero. So now we know that 34 and three over six is actually the exact same thing as 34.5. So we know three over six is the same as 0.5. So let's go ahead and write that. So 34.5 is what I have, right? Yeah, submit. Awesome. All right, so let's try that again. And let's go over. But the, yeah, let's try that one more time. I believe we have nine divided by two. So we have, two and nine, nine divided by two. How many times can two go into nine or two multiplied by what will give us nine? So two times two is four, six, eight. So we know two can go into nine four times. Four times two is eight. What, what was that? Four times two is eight. We subtract eight minus nine is one. Do we have anything else to take down? No. So our answer is we put the one over the divisor. So it's four and one over two. That will be our answer in fraction form, but we need it in decimal form. So what we do, if we want to get this answer in decimal form, 
I put point zero here because nine dollars is the same as nine dollars and zero cents. And we do we have anything to take down? We have the zero, so we take down the zero. How many times can two go into ten? Go back to the decimal point there, and we know it's five. So one over two or a half is the same as 0.5. So four and a half would be the same thing as 4.5. And that's how we would divide and get our decimal point. So nine divided by two, we have 4.5. Awesome, all right, so we have 486 divided by four. Say that, don't save. Uh, create, I believe it was 4, uh, 4.86, I believe, yep, yeah. 4.86, all right, and just looking on that now, what do you believe the answer would be? I want you to pause, I want you to actually try, divide it normally, and then put the point zero, and tell me what you what answer you get. So pause the video, try it out, and let's see. All right, so let's go. Four can go into four one times. One times four is four. Not uh, four looks awful, but whatever. Four minus four is zero. Carry down to eight. Four can go into eight. How many times? Two. Two times four is eight. I'm going to subtract, that's a zero. Carry it on to six. Four can go into six, how many times? That's one. One times four is four. Subtract, we get two. So if we wanted fractions, we would just, you know, there'd be nothing to put down. We put the two over the four, but we want it in decimal form. So we're going to carry down that zero. I'm going to put this decimal point up here as well, line up the decimal points. And four can go into 20 five times. Five times four is 20. And then you subtract. And then your answer is going to be 121.5. Is that what you guys got? 0.5. Awesome. All right. We have four divided by eight, and we need it in a decimal form. Now, again, I want you guys to pause it, try for yourself, write it down and see what you get. But we're gonna have four, let's uh, create one. We have the eight, that is four divided by eight, yeah. We have eight. And then four. So the house can hold four and eight people want to enter. What do you believe the answer would be? At? So eight and the four, that's going to be zero because eight people like to enter and it only holds four. Um, zero times eight is zero. You subtract, bring down the four. So we're going to put that point zero right here. We're gonna bring this down. Now we have 40. How many times can eight go into 40? Put a decimal point back there. And it's five, because eight times five is 40. So eight times five, we get back our 40. Well, that's zero, subtract zero. Sorry, using a right, right mouse. And your answer is 0 0.5. Right, most that sticks. <laughs> 0 0.5. Okay. All right. So 4 divided by 8. Z, oops. Uh, 0 0.5. Boom. All right. 451 divided by 5. What do you believe this answer would be? Let's write it down. Let's write it out together and let's see 
451 divided by five. So yeah, I highly recommend pause it, try it, and let's work it out. Let's see if you get the same answer again. So five can go into four zero times. Zero times five is zero. Subtract, you get your four. Uh, bring down the five. How many times can five go into 45? Or five times what will give you 45? So we know five times nine will give us 45. Um, five times nine again is 45. Subtract, get zero. Bring down the one. So, um, yeah, if we're due to the fraction, we have nothing else to take down. Oh, I'm sorry, um, ignore me. Uh, you bring down the one, five can go into one, how many times? Zero times. Zero times five is zero. Subtract, get your one. So yeah, now if we wanted in a fraction form, we would just put the one over the divisor and we'll have 90 and one fifth, but we would like a decimal. So we're gonna put down the zero. How many times can five go into 10? Put back the decimal. Two times. Two times five is gonna be 10. You subtract them and you're gonna get zero. So we know that 90, 90.2 is actually the same, or 0.2 is actually the same as 90 and 1 fifth. So 0 0.20 is actually the same as one over five. So let's put it in here and see 90.2 and awesome. All right, so five divided by two. Hey guys, what do you think this would be? Five divided by two. We have five, two. We know two can go into five. Let's close that, don't save. Create new, boom. Let's go, we have two and five. Five divided by two. So, how many times can two go into five? Two times. Two times two is four. Subtract, gonna get one. So we know that it would be, we have nothing else to take down. Oh. So it would be one, five, I'm sorry, two and one over two as a fraction form. What do you believe the decimal would be? One over two in decimal form would be what? It should be 0.5, let's check it out. So let's put 0 0.0, bring it down, zero. Two can go into 10, five times, five times two is 10, you subtract, boom. So we know that one over two or a half is the exact same as 0.5. So two can go into five, two point five. Perfect. That's it. So I want you guys. We're gonna do one more, and I definitely recommend trying to do them, uh, pausing the video and doing them with me. And you should be all set for your IXL lesson. And I believe we're doing five divided by yeah, four divided by five. And so this one. What do you believe this would be? We have five divided by four. I'm sorry, four divided by five. Four, we know that we're gonna do this because we want decimal form. So five can go into four, zero times. Zero times five is zero. Subtract, you get your four. Uh, you bring down your zero. So my dear, how many times can five go into 40 or five times what? We'll give you 40. It's going to be eight. And then eight times five is gonna be the same 40. Subtract zero. So 
4 divided by 5 is 4 over 5 is the exact same thing as 0 0.8. Awesome. So let's put 0.8 and we are set. So yeah, um, that's going to be it for now. Um, no. Pause the video, replay, and definitely go through them one by one. And before I answer them, and you should be all set for your IXL. Thank you, and you guys have a great one.